this model kit review is of the US Marine Corps, the LAV-25, also known as the Piranha. And it is a 135th scale model by Trumpeter. Got a lot of parts here. And uh, these are the dimensions. And I've uh, got two other paint options there. Uh, not much else on there. Let's have a look at this side here. We've got some other pictures of the finished model. Looks quite a nice model there. Some of the details here about the um, vehicle. Well, let's have a look inside and see what we've got. Well, that's quite a large vehicle, it looks like. Okay, so first of all here, let's look at our tires. I feel like stiff vinyl. Uh, we've got some very nice detail on there for our treads. Here's our turret. Okay, and here's the main body or hull. is very nicely molded, very crisp and clean. It looks like that's going to go together very well. If I can find the right part there. Look at that. Oh, not quite. There we go. Beautifully molded. Lots of surface detail here. And I'm guessing we're going to be able to see some stuff on the inside. Okay, this sprue here has uh, the bottom part of our um, the bottom part of our, of our turret that's going to sit on top like that. Uh, here we've got some uh, fuel cans, some hatches. It's a very nice detail, very nicely molded, but we do have some flashing here. That's going to need some cleanup work there. And then here's the um, main gun. Uh, that's the bottom of it, at least. Yeah, here we've got some uh, figures, it looks like. Nicely molded. <clears throat> got some legs, arms, torsos. Uh, we've got a face here and there and there. So that's a good level of detail. Nicely molded. And here we've got all the accessories, water bottles, and little satchels. We've got some weapons here. And in this one here we've got the helmets. And as you can see, nice detail. We've got goggles. Okay, this last set of sprues here, we've got all the additional pieces for the vehicle. With some more fuel tanks. That's the rear with the two doors that'll open. Got some exhaust parts there. Got some tools, like okay, an axe there, a hammer, some more hatches, and all these little holds or hand grabs. And over here we've got our suspension parts. And we've got wheels, very nicely molded. We've got propellers here. Here are the suspension parts as well. And on the other side here, it's the other side of the wheels. So, great level of detail and very nicely molded. They do give you some mesh. And then also this plastic here for um, 
the little windows. Let's see here. So this separate plastic here, they're actually um, bulging out a little bit. Let's get them pushed out. And those will go on the sides of the vehicle. Okay, we've also got a few decals, not many, not many needed. Over here we've got our paint and decal guide. And uh, I like the color ones. And then there's the uh, there's a white version there. Okay, let's have a look at our instructions here. There's the parts listing. So we start off with uh, the hole and putting together our um, suspension there. And then uh, the rest of the suspension goes on there. So that's each side. And then we put the uh, wheels together. The wheels are then mounted along with some of the additional body parts going on there. Here are the hatches. Well, maybe there's not much interior, so it's probably not worth keeping them open. Uh, all the additional pieces going on here. We've got tools, radio antenna, some of the um, bars to hold on to. We've got lights. More tools, there's our exhaust, and uh, more fuel tanks, or jerry cans as they're called. And then we've got uh, the rest of our uh, doors going on, and hatches. Then we mount our wheels and tires. We start to build the turret here. Lots of little pieces here on the turret. There's our main gun. We've got mesh going on there. And then uh, make an antenna out of sprue. We've got a few more jerry cans or fuel tanks. And then the model is finished. Now we've got the figures. And a uh, fair amount of detail here in terms of painting. Uh, very nicely detailed model kits.